Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Joseph Bonner, and welcome to another amazing episode. Now, today, I feel that in 2022, cybersecurity has become just one of those issues that we have to be a lot more concerned about. Just in the news the other day, they were talking about this little iPhone app that people can tap onto your wallet and literally steal all your money, steal your identity in a matter of seconds. And so cybersecurity, not just for major corporations, but even for individuals is so important. And so for that reason, we have a very special guest on today's show. It's Lori Kornmesser. Lori, I'm pronouncing your name correctly, am I not? You are, perfect. Well done, well done. I had to double check, you guys. We were talking about this before the show started. I had to <laughs> double check and make sure I'm not messing up Lori Cornmaster's name. Now, she is, check this out, you guys. She is the vice president of Worldwide Channel Sales, and she has been in the cyber world as an expert for some 25 years. And so we're super honored to have her on today's show. Lori, welcome to the show. How are Thank you? Thank you. Oh, we're doing great. It's uh it's been a great close of the year. I'm excited for you know what this year has to bring and, and really excited to be here today, actually. So thank well, you. Well, we're super excited to have you, like especially on such a major topic that I feel is impacting the world mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. So before we actually yeah. kind of jump in into kind of some of the things that we're seeing happening globally yeah. in regards to cybersecurity, can you tell us a little about what you do there at your company? Yeah, so SciCognito is a cybersecurity company. And what that means is that they work with major companies who offer you services um, to keep the network safe. So think about Verizon, right? And your phone service. We sell to customers like Verizon. We also sell to companies where you might go to the grocery store or you might go to a department store, right? Or your banking system. And what we actually do is we predict the things that may come. Our um, my, our owners are former uh, Israeli intelligence. So they think from an attacker's point of view, and then they help companies keep their network safe so that you all as consumers can stay safe. Wow. Um, that makes sense. You know, I, I love the fact that, <laughs> you know, your owners, you know, have some insight and are kind of coming from a different angle to really stay on the uh, on the defense, really. That's right. That's exactly what it is. Because a a lot of times companies don't even know that they're, you know, getting attacked or how the attacker actually got in. And so what we offer is this really cool platform where companies can go in, predict those things, prioritize those attacks. And it's just, it's really amazing. I mean, it's one of the reasons I came to the company because they were doing something different and innovative in this space. And it's so needed, as you said, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I was just looking up some information on just cybersecurity as a whole, just like, what is it, what does it cost companies? And it's over a trillion dollars. Yeah. Um, as of 20, was it 2020? It cost companies a trillion dollars globally because right. they did not take care of their cybersecurity. That's exactly right. And that's exactly what we find is when the people responsible for making those decisions actually look at what we can do, they actually realize, wow, the the effort that it would take their internal people that they hire to find the same attacks sometimes can be like 30 days worth of work and you know up to five to six people. So we're improving efficiency, we're finding it early, we're making them better. Um, and it's just a really fun space to be in right now. Absolutely. And now, have you ever had a company that kind of came to you maybe after an attack happened and said, okay, you know, we don't want this to happen again. Can you help us? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Nothing worse than showing up in the headline on the news that day, right? Right. So, yeah. And I'm sure they get a lot of calls from a lot of companies in cybersecurity saying that they can help, but absolutely. But, you know, the other piece is, Customers also come to us and say, we don't want to be that person in the news, so please help us stay out of the news, right? And that's where we really align and find great success. Because that's what I was thinking, too, is like the reason why I feel like companies really need to pay attention to what you and your company are doing right now is because, you know, if you do, let's say you have a breach, right? And then that does make the news. 
Now you got your clients and your patrons wondering, hmm, maybe should we do business with you in the future? Now all my information is out there. Let me go to one of your competitors. That's exactly right. They not only lose money, they lose reputation and they lose trust to people. So it's a big impact to companies, right? It's not just financial. It's future, you know, people follow the news and they pay attention to things. So yeah, how do you stay out of the headlines, right? I would say that's the easy, probably one of the easiest things we can help them do. <laughs> right. And, and it's 2022, right? So like everybody, like the companies are really pushing and a lot of companies are becoming innovative. And so this is not the year where companies can afford to lose clients uh, due to cybersecurity issues that they could have taken care of in the, in the beginning. That's exactly right. And you know, that that is true for small companies and large companies, right? We're all right. kind of, right? We're, the economy is trying to get back to a better place. And so, you know, we really just need to, to pay attention to it. So yeah, exactly. Great space that we're in and we're leading, leading the charge. Yeah, and speaking of smaller companies too, and this is for you, for you smaller companies out there. I know that you people who maybe are just kind of doing it, you're, you, you're maybe you're just a one person, you know, shop, or maybe you got five people under your team. I mean, even for those companies, I mean, they annually lost about twenty four thousand as well. Yeah, that's so right. even for smaller companies, that, like you want to you want to give attention to this. So do you have? an opportunity? I mean, do you work with larger corporations and smaller corporations as well? Absolutely. Yeah, we, I mean, our target account is Fortune 2000, right, in terms of that range. But yeah, large and small companies all are looking for it because they're all at risk, right? And so Mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So worldwide channel sales. Now, how would we actually go about like, you know, getting a hold of you and jumping in here? So my job is we have a direct sales team that that connect with customers. My job is to uh, hire, recruit, train, think of it like what we call reseller partners that are going to go out and be an extended sales force, right? So instead of hiring, you know, hundreds of thousands of sellers, we hire a group of salespeople and then we leverage the channel right? To go out and sell on our behalf. And so my goal is to hire and recruit the right partners that can tell our story, tell our message, get us to customers faster, reduce our time in the market. Um, And listen, you know, it's been it's been fun. I've been doing channel. They call it indirect sales in I.T., for over you know 25 years, I started my career as an inside salesperson and have played every role in channels. So um, yeah, so it's fun. Yeah, you know what you know what you're talking about. And you know what you're doing. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So what, so what are your goals? Um, so what are your goals right now this year, 2022, between now and like let's say the next three months? What do you want to? Yeah. What do you want to see? Do you mean professionally or personally? I say both. Let's let's start with professionally and then let's oh, go. Oh, okay. So professionally, you know, listen, I have I have gained a reputation as somebody that comes in, either gets the job done, it hasn't been done before. So I'm usually the first, or it's been done several times, but but not to the satisfaction of the company. In this case, I'm the first channel chief. They invested in the channel. I'm hiring a team, I'm recruiting partners, I'm doing all the right things. So this is execution year, right? You know, I focused on kind of building all the right things to make it happen. So this is now time to deliver, (laughs) as I would say, right? So this means I'm looking at how to grow the company's revenue with the channel partners that we have. And I want to do that significantly. I want to make sure that we're contributing 30% of our business via channel partners, right? That means where our sales team's not already I want to be able to leverage, you know, the channel partners for lift in the business. So that's the a number one goal. You know, that's uh, there's a lot of other things that I have to do to make all those things happen. But at the end of the day, that's the number one metric that I have. Um, I would say for myself professionally uh, or personally, I would say, you know, listen, I always um, I'm becoming a lot more of a mindful leader. Um in terms of my approach to business. Um, I've learned through the years that I can be um, strong and kind at the same time. Um, and, and for me, I'm always looking at ways to improve my health and my wellness and my, you know, taking breaks to have 
read books and, you know, be more connected to spirituality and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Those things are super important. And sometimes I get too busy to do them all. I'm very mindful of the things that need to work. Um, so for me, it's just getting better in those, in those moments, taking the time, you know, to respond to an email with thoughtfulness and not always rushing, taking mm -hmm. the time to call somebody to say, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Right. Taking the time to welcome my kids when they come, you know, in for the day, mm -hmm. those things are important. Right. And I found that to be especially true, you know, in COVID now that we're all in the same house and, you know, <laughs> yeah. under each other. Right. And so um, that's what I would say. Yeah. Well, I think those are wonderful goals uh, across the board. Um, I, and I love the fact that you're, like you said, slowing down just to say thank you, you know, mm -hmm. uh, to be present with your children. I, I think that's, that's so beautiful. Um, you know, I've been trying to play with, you know, trying to, trying to, trying to engage mine a little bit more, you know, play, be more playful with them and just, right. just look for that smile, you know? So I love the fact that, um, that you're, that you're searching for ways to do that more. And the beautiful thing about it is that whatever you're doing at home, it translates right into your work. And oh, so, yeah. Oh, Yeah. You are top of the line in your profession, and that that I mean that goes without saying. Even when we googled you, we're like, oh, I'm like, I'm like, oh, this, I'm like, this sister has her stuff together. I was like, okay, <laughs> she's, I'm like, she's serious, you know, and that's good because yeah. that means you built an online reputation that's trustworthy, that that's solid. And I really want to make sure that that your objectives and your goals with your company are achieved this year. So tell us a little bit more about what you're looking right now. Like I know you're trying to definitely, you know. Um, gain more partners so as to get like you said leverage um that gap in revenue for for um for your for your brand and for your company tell us how we can help you do that well i would say you know if people are in the cybersecurity space and they are a expert in a technology reseller or an intubator or uh you know any of those things um I would just tell them that, you know, Cycognito is a growing company. Uh, we just closed our Series C, you know, round uh, with, with, you know, just great success. The company is growing. It's innovative. It's differentiated. And so I would say check us out and see if there's an opportunity to partner together, you know, for sure, for sure. I love that. All right, and you heard it first here on this show that you guys have an amazing opportunity. All you, all you tech geniuses out there, <laughs> to an amazing company and, and make some money. As you know, that's 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 one of the bottom lines. You know, to it, to it, to it. Exactly. Exactly. 